Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is time for another Facebook Live. I was not here um, last week. I was on a cruise ship having a blast. Um, so I missed um, being with you all, but gl I'm glad to be back tonight. But I really had a good time. Um, so while you all are um, getting signed on or joining me, I'm going to share this video um, with the group in case somebody is looking for it there. Hello, Nancy. You got to come watch for a little bit. Whoops, hang on. I'm going to share my video. Hey, Allison. Hey, buddy. I have my um, basketball game. Um, K State is playing in the Big 12 tournament, and we are number eight out of nine, and West Virginia is number nine out of nine. So we're playing to see who's not going to be last place. It's not been a good year for us. We had a bunch of games where we should have won, um, you know, close games, and just couldn't quite do it. So kind of a sad year for us. Maybe next year we'll be better. All right. Getting this shared with the group in case somebody's looking for it there. And then we will get started. So two weeks ago, we made this cute otter card with the celebration um, paper and stamp set. And at the end, I will tell you who won um, this card. But tonight we're going to play with this gorgeous, if you have not seen this paper, it is, I, you can't, I can't even describe it. It's called New Horizons and that's what this is. This panel right here is just a piece of the designer series paper. That's it, it's like a whole scene all by itself. And this paper is just, you can see we've, we've played a lot with it. It's just beautiful, it's all watercolory. You can get to some of these full size ones. I mean, just, all you have to do is add a few stamps and you have a whole scene. It's just amazing. So oh, that could go that way. That looks like space to me. And then on the other side, that could be water or space. So more just watercolory ones, not so much this scene, although you could still use some of them as a scene. But they're just, I mean, unbelievable paper. And I had this and had never played with it. And so I was so glad that we started playing with it on the cruise because now I'm going to have to use up all of mine because it's so fun. All right, I'll put that back in its plastic later. So we had a whole class and I will show you, I think I left them over here. I hope I left them over here. Yes. The other cards that we made in the class at the end. Um, this is one of the cards we made. Super easy. And I don't know if I can get it to show you. So we did some Wink of Stella on this, which could be water. And then also on the, so you can see a little bit there on the flowers down here. So let's get started. This will be a super quick card. So, and as always, I have, I will have um, on my blog when this is done, the measurements. All right. Um, so you don't have to worry about writing anything down, although there's not much to this as far as measurements. So this is old olive cardstock. And then this is a piece of our designer series paper. And then I just have a scrap of um, white. I guess I should show you the stamp set and the dies. So the stamp set is called On the Horizon. And then the dies, unfortunately right now are not orderable. And I forgot to see when they would be back, but they will be back. But they're fun. So the um, piece that we're going to use for our sentiment. Hey, Debbie. Is this right here. And then there's some mountain pieces that we used on one of the um, cards that we made in class. That I'll show you these fun fence pieces. So this is definitely something that you'll want to get when it becomes available again. All right. Oh, I forgot to bring down my printout to tell you about the special that's going on. Um, I put a, a Facebook post about it last week while I was gone. I had one scheduled to go. The mini cut and emboss machine 
which is this little guy right here, is on sale. Um, so find that post from last week. I'm sorry, I printed out the flyers, the flyer to show you tonight, and then I left it upstairs. Um, but there are also, along with that, some bundles um, that are on sale even more, and things that were bundles but had gone away. They were no longer bundled, but they brought back a bundle price um, that will fit in that mini cut and emboss machine. So check that out. I will try and put another, if I if I can do that, I'll put a link on this post too, on this um, Facebook Live too, so you can find it. But if you don't have that small one and it's something you've been looking at, now is a great time or to stock up on some of those bundles. All right, so let's get started. We're going to stamp just some little birds on the top. And these come from this stamp set so we're only stamping the birds and the sentiment and they both come from this stamp set and I always have to look at these birds to see to clean my blocks because some of them their wings are down and some of them their wings are up so you have to look to see which way they really go so I'm just gonna stamp some over here in the sky there we go and then for the sentiment, I decided to just use the relax and enjoy your day and not put the breathe in there. So I'm going to set that aside. Bring in my little, <laughs> doesn't want to come over here. So my little die cut. And I'm stamping this in Old Olive, which you can't see because I have a way over here. And so I'm just going to ink this up, I mean stamp this over to the right hand side and we'll see if I can make it go straight. It's always a challenge on video if I can make it go straight. Not too bad. All right, that's it, that's all the stamping. Like I said, pretty quick and easy. All right, so now before we put it together, I'm gonna add my Wink of Stella. So we just put it, whoops, on this blue. I probably don't have to put it all the way over there. And then all the flowers down here. So I know it's hard to see this online or on the camera, but it just adds a little extra sparkle. Yeah, you can't see it at all. All right, this does not want to cooperate. So now we're going to just adhere our designer series paper to our card base. And it is as long as the card is just a little bit narrower because we didn't want to lose any more of this beautiful scene than we had to. And then Oh, I should have done this before. I meant to do this before. And I did this in class too. So just, I'm grabbing my scissors. Just lay it about where you think you want it. And then just cut it. So you're just cutting that off because it's going to go flush against that. But before we put that on there, where did I put my into the paper. All right, I had my, there it is, it's hiding. So this is part of the twine, let me just grab the whole thing. So this is a whole set of twine, and I think this is the gray granite. Either the gray granite or the crumb cake would look fine on this. Actually, the white would too. You could use about anything. Um, but we just took some of this, and doubled it, maybe a little bit more. And then just tied a big loopy bow, loopy bow, I cannot talk tonight, a loopy bow. Yeah, I need more, I need more. That won't be big enough, loopy enough. Because you want it to show on either side of the 
sentiment that you're doing. Come back here. I tell you, tying a bow on camera, okay, this is not working, is always a challenge. Okay, third time's a charm, right? There we go. And so I just want this big loop on here. Maybe not quite that big. And then I can take and cut this. Oops, come here. And cut that. And now I have this big Leapy bow, and it's still probably not going to be big enough, is it? Let's make it bigger. Make our loops a little bigger so that they will show. There we go. Perfect. So then you're just going to take a glue dot. I'm grabbing my glue dots. I didn't have any of my adhesive ready. Shame on me. So we're going to take a glue dot and just put it in the middle of this knot. Just put that on your card, kind of making it separate like that. And then I'll take um, a dimensional on each end so that hopefully... It will straddle that bow. Make sure your little loopies are. And there you go, that's it. Is that not precious? Now I think we had a piece, yeah, we had a piece of white, which I forgot to cut, but you would definitely want a piece of white on the inside of this um, because old olive is a little bit dark. So. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but everybody that comments on this video, I'll draw next week um, and somebody will win this card. Okay, so let me show you the other cards that we made in this class. This card, a simple card. All we did is stamp some trees on this paper. This is one that we're going to make in... Um, card class tomorrow night so if you're signed up for that you'll get to make one of two of those and then look at this is that not gorgeous so this is just one of the the back sides of the paper so it's just that watercolor and then that's one of those beautiful ones where you just add it we just added some grass and some trees and some birds and that's it there's another one just some of that watercolor in the background, um, a piece of the, looks like sunset. And then this one, um, we used a sailboat punch and we just punched it out of the misty moonlight and then put, yeah, you can see Wink of Stella all over its sails and the birds. The birds have to be on almost every card because they're so fun. And then the last one used some of those dies from the die set. So there's the mountains, those were cut with the mother of pearl, I think it's called, paper. That's like a lake. This is the um, uh, layering diorama die cuts, and then the painted textures, I think, is this embossing folder. And then we also got, as a part of our kits, I mean, we got stuff to make six classes, and I'll share some more of the classes with you um, at later time. But we got all the stuff to make the cards, we got a package of this paper, a package of the abstract beauty paper, some memories and more cards and envelopes, some memories and more cards, um, the rhinestones, the twine package, and then this package that has the misty moonlight and the, it's like a pale pink or peach. I don't remember which color it is now. So we got all of that um, along with the paper, the rest of the paper we needed to make the cards. And like I said, there were, I think I said, there were six classes. So these five cards, I think it is, 
yeah, these five cards was just one class. So we had um, five other classes too. And one of the classes was a uh, um, scrapbook. So we got to make um, little things to go in our scrapbook. So now we can add pictures to it from our trip and have a scrapbook already made. Okay, I think that is, oh, I forgot to tell you who won the card. So two weeks ago, we made this cute otter card and the winner of that is Patience. So I will get that sent to her. And then everybody that um, comments on this video will be in the drawing for this card. And I'll draw that next week. All right, I think that's it for tonight. Some of you I will see tomorrow night in card class. And the rest of you I will see next week on Facebook Live. Thank you. Good night.